What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Michigander man and today I am in Mount Olivet Cemetery here in Saginaw, Michigan. And I am here today to uh, visit the final resting place actor Tim McCoy. Right now we are at, in the uh, priest section, but look at this gorgeous monument ahead of me. That is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. This is a very nice, very beautiful cemetery. Pretty sure you guys don't know a lot about Mr. McCoy, but I'm gonna definitely tell you guys his story. He was actually one of the very first um, action movie stars of the silent film era. And I believe there is no um, video on Mr. McCoy's gravesite either. So I will actually be the very first person to do a video on Mr. McCoy. I'm just glad I'm able to bring you guys these things this is I this is my passion I love making videos for you guys and I love taking you guys on the adventures that I that I go on and I'm not a very well-spoken person I know I mess up on my words and sometimes I don't get facts and things right but hey you know nobody is perfect at all there's nobody in this world that is perfect But I do my best and I do try. And I just saw this statue over here that I have to show you guys. I absolutely love this beautiful statue. That is, look at this. It looks like it's been fixed already. That is a beautiful statue of Jesus looking up to the heavens. If you guys are ever um, in Mount Ol Olivet Cemetery in Saginaw, Michigan, and you want to look up uh, Mr. McCoy's gravesite, um, there is actually a GPS that points you to where his grave is. 
it's not hard to find I'm panning around you uh that gig gigantic cross we were at he's kidney corners from that and from these uh these pillars right here it, he's not hard to find and his final resting place is right here Now, as I was saying a little while ago, I realize very few of you fellows have ever been up over this Chisholm Trail. Some things about it you ought to know. All this trailing cattle north, you know, is a new business. But it's something we've got to get used to because it's going to mean the salvation of Texas. A lot of you fellows I know are ex-Confederate soldiers. You've come back home to Texas. What'd you find? You found cattle all over the countryside. Why, even old man Maverick hasn't, why, well, he hasn't branded one in years. Tim McCoy was born in Saginaw, Michigan on April 10th, 1891. His father was an Irish Union Civil War veteran and police chief. While attending Loyola University, McCoy saw a Wild West show that influenced him to purchase a one-way ticket west. He ended up in Lander, Wyoming, where he worked as a ranch hand. While there, he became an expert horseman and a roper while developing an extensive knowledge of the costumes and languages of the local American Indian tribes. McCoy was a renowned expert in Indian Sign Language and was named High Eagle by the Arapaho tribe of the Wind River Reservation. He competed in numerous rodeos and then enlisted the United States Army when America entered World War I. McCoy enlisted as a soldier in the U.S. United States Army and served in the cavalry during World War I. Although he did not serve in combat nor overseas, he served again in World War II in Europe, rising to the rank of colonel with the Army Air Corps and Army Air Forces. He also served as adjutant general of Wyoming between the wars with the brevet rank of Bridgelander General. At 28, he was one of the youngest bridge ranger generals in the history of the United States Army. In 1922, David Townsend, president of the Mountain Plains Enterprise Film Company, planned to build Sunshine Studios at McCoy's Owl Creek Dude Ranch in order to shoot a film titled The Dude Wrangler, written by Caroline Lockhart, but the project was abandoned. That same year, he was asked by the head of the famous players, Lasky, Jesse L. Lasky, to provide American Indian extras for the Western extravaganza, The Covered Wagon. He brought hundreds of Indians to the Utah location and served as technical advisor on the film. After filming was completed, McCoy was asked to bring a much smaller group of Indians to Hollywood for a stage presentation preceding each showing of the film. McCoy's stage show was popular running eight months in Hollywood and several more months in London and Paris. McCoy returned to his Wyoming ranch, but Irving Theuberg of MGM soon signed him to a contract to star in a series of outdoor adventures and McCoy rose to stardom. His first MGM feature was War Paint, featuring epic scenes of the Wild River Indians on horseback, staged by McCoy and director Woody Van Dyke. Footage from the War Paint was reused in many 
low budget westerns well into the 1950s. The coming of talking pictures and the temporary inability to record sound outdoors resulted in MGM terminating its Tim McCoy series and McCoy returning once more to his ranch. In 1929, he was summoned back to Hollywood personally by Carl Lamon of Universal Pictures, who insisted that McCoy starred in the first talking western serial, The Indians Are Coming. The serial was very successful. Later, in 1932, McCoy starred in Two-Fisted Law with John Wayne and Walter Brennan. McCoy worked steadily in movies until 1936. He left Hollywood, first to tour with the Ringling Brothers Circus and then with his own Wild West show. The show was not a success. It was reported to have lost 300,000, 100,000 of which was McCoy's own money. It folded in Washington, D.C. And the cowboy performers were each given $5 and McCoy's thanks. The Indians on the show were returned to their respective reservations by the Bureau of the Indian Affairs. McCoy was available for pictures again in 1938 and low budget producers including Maurice Korn Khan and Sam Kasman engaged him at his standard salary of 4000 weekly for eight films a year. In 1941, Buck Jones recruited McCoy to co-star in the Rough Riders series alongside Jones and Raymond Hatton. The eight films released by Monogram Pictures were very popular and might have continued, but McCoy declined to renew his contract opening to pursue other interests. In 1942, McCoy ran for the Republican nomination for the open U.S. Senate seat from Wyoming during that campaign, he established the first statewide radio hookup in Wyoming broadcasting history. He lost in the primary and within 48 hours volunteered for active duty with the U.S. Army. McCoy hosted a KTLA television show in Los Angeles in 1952 titled The Tim McCoy Show for children on weekday afternoons and Saturdays in which he provided authentic history lessons on the Old West and showed his old Western movies. His co-host was the actor Iron Eyes Cody, who, while of Italian heritage, played an American Indian, both on and off screen. McCoy won a local Emmy, but did attend receiving the award. He was competing against Webster Webfoot in the Best Children's Show category and refused to show up saying, I'll be damned if I'm going to sit there and get beaten by a talking duck. For his contribution to the film industry, McCoy was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In 1973, he was inducted into the Hall of Great Western Performers of the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. He was inducted into the Cowboy Hall of Fame in 1974. On January 16, 2010, McCoy was inducted into the Hot Springs County Wyoming Hall of Fame. Accepting the honor on his behalf was his son, Terry. McCoy died on January 28, 1978 at the Raymond W. Bliss Army Medical Center of Fort Hachula in Sierra Rena Vista, Arizona. He was cremated and his ashes returned to his Nogles home nine years later. His remains and those of his wife, Inga, who had died in 1973, were returned to his birthplace in Saginaw, Michigan for burial in the Mount Olivet Cemetery next to his family plot. I'm just glad that I can bring their stories to life for you guys because some of the people that I've talked to and don't know, you know, didn't know who these people were. I'm happy that there are uh, YouTubers that do famous graves and things like that to bring the stories 
alive and tell you guys about them. I'm just happy that I actually can do that. Thanks again for watching everybody. If you guys liked this video, hit that thumbs up. Make sure you share this. Make sure you're subscribed. Until the next one guys, I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.